In this second example, we're going to imagine that we're car mechanics and we're trying to fix a broken car. How do we think about the car? Well, cars are made up of sheets of metal and nuts and bolts to hold everything together. There's also the engine, the radiator, the coolant, steering wheel, and all the controls to think about too if you're the mechanic and you're in charge of fixing the car, right? However, it's also true that all these sheets of metal, the controls, and essentially everything in the car are made up of tiny molecules and atoms, and even those can be subdivided down to protons, electrons, neutrons, and even quarks. But if you're the mechanic, and all a customer cares about is getting their car fixed, are you really going to be worrying about the molecular details of the car? No. And that's exactly what abstraction is for as a car mechanic, using what you know and the things you need to be thinking about to do your job while abstracting away those unnecessary details. With our first example, the unnecessary details were the intimate parts of the computer and all the software within that's controlling what's going on. In this, we don't need to worry about the molecular details. That's not how we're going to fix the car. We're going to fix the car by focusing on the things that we need to fix. That's what abstraction is.